Hi guys, it's Pastor Alwansa, and I am here again, once again, to read to you the Bible in a year. I have a whole list here and um, that I'm following off of BibleStudyTools.com. You too can print it off and um, or follow it right online to read the Bible in a year. But thanks for tuning in and joining me and listening to me. So today we're going to do day seven and it's chapter Job chapters 14 through 16. And if you're ever wondering how I'm just so happy and upbeat, well, it's because I have a daily devotional, which is called the Good News Daily. And um, and I'm under, I have my spiritual parents are Prophetess B.B. Angel and Prophet Hubert Angel. And so with this daily devotional, it really is a good tool to have and to um, keep you cheerful and going. So um, this is free. You can download the digital um, PDF at goodnewsworld.com, download it, whatever your language is, um, and, or you could, if you would like a personal copy, you could give a donation of, uh, towards the ministry, uh, $5, and if, they, if that's something you're interested in, then by all means, the book is free, but this goes towards the postage and handling to get them to you, or get it to you, so um, that's what it's for if you would like a hard copy. But it is free, so download it on your own um, tablets or um, phones and gadgets so that you can have it for yourself, okay? But, um, and if you would like to more information about it, by all means, please follow me on Adam Graham, that's A-T-O-M-G-R-A-M, or Instagram, um, at Alwanza, okay? All right, let's get started. So today is day seven, Job chapters 14 through 16. Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. And dost thou open thine eyes upon such an one and bringest me into judgment with thee? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as an hireling his day. For there is a hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water it will bud and bring forth boughs like a plant. But man dieth and wasteth away. Yea, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? As the water is failed from the sea and the flood decayeth and dryeth up, so man lieth down and riseth not. Till the heavens be no more, they shall not awake nor be raised out of their sleep. Oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep me secret until thy wrath be passed, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Thou shalt call and I will answer. Thou wilt have a desire to the work of thine hands. For now thou numberest my steps. Dost thou not watch over my sin? My transgression is sealed up in a bag and thou sowest up mine iniquity. And surely the mountain falling cometh to naught and the rock is removed out of his place. The waters wear the stones, thou washest away the things which grow out of the dust of the earth, and thou destroyest the hope of man. Thou prevailest forever against him, and he passeth. Thou changest his countenance, and sendest him away. His sons come to honor, and he knoweth it not. And they are brought low, but he perceiveth it not of them. But his flesh upon him shall have pain, and his soul within him shall mourn. Chapter 15, then said Eliphaz the Temanite and said, should a wise man utter vain knowledge and fill his belly with the east wind? Should he reason with unprofitable talk or with speeches wherewith he can do no good? Yea, thou castest off fear and restraineth prayer before God. For thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. Thine own mouth condemneth thee, not I, 
Yea, thine own lips testify against thee. Art thou the first man that was born? Or was thou made before the heels? Hast thou heard the secret of God? And dost thou restrain wisdom to thyself? What knowest thou that we know not? What understandest thou which is not in us? With us are both the gray-headed and very aged men much elder than thy father. Are the constellations of God small with thee? Is there any secret thing with thee? Why doth thine heart carry thee away? And what do thy eyes wink at? That thou mayest turnest thy spirit against God and lettest such words go out of thy mouth? What is man that he should be clean and he which is born of a woman that he should be righteous? Behold, he putteth no trust in his saints. Yea, the heavens are not clean in his sight. How much more abominable and filthy is man which drinketh iniquity like water? I will show thee, hear me, and that which I have seen, I will declare. Which wise men have told from their fathers and have not hid it? Unto whom alone the earth was given and no stranger passed among them. The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. A dreadful sound is in his ears. In prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. He believeth not that he shall return out of darkness and he is waited for of the sword. He wandereth abroad for bread saying, where is it? He knoweth that the day of darkness is ready is at his hand. Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to the battle. For he stretcheth out his hand against God and strengtheneth himself against the Almighty. He runneth upon him, even on his neck, upon the thick bosses of his bucklers, because he covereth his faith, his face with his fatness, and maketh collops of fat on his flanks, and he dwelleth in desolate cities and in houses which no man inhabiteth, which are ready to become heaps. He shall not be rich, neither shall his substance continue, neither shall he prolong the perfection thereof upon the earth. He shall not depart out of darkness. The flame shall dry up his branches, and by the breath of his mouth shall he go away. Let not him that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. It shall be accomplished before his time, and his branch shall not be green. He shall shake off his unripe grape as the vine and shall cast off his flower as the olive. For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity and their belly prepareth deceit. Next chapter, Job chapter 16. Then Job answered and said, I have heard many such things. Miserable comforters are ye all. Shall vain words have an end? Or what emboldeneth thee that thou answerest? I also could speak as ye do if your soul were in my soul's stead. I could heap up words against you and shake my head at you. But I would strengthen you with my mouth and the moving of my lips should assuage your grief. Though I speak, my grief is not assuaged. And though I forbear, what am I eased? But now he had made me weary. Thou hast made desolate all my company. And thou hast filled me with wrinkles, which is a witness against me. And my leanness rising up in me beareth witness to my face. He teareth me in his wrath, who hateth me. He gnasheth upon me with his teeth. Mine enemy sharpeneth his eyes upon me. They have gaped upon me with their mouth. They have smitten me upon the cheek reproachfully. They have gathered themselves together against me. God had delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he had broken me asunder. He has also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces and set me up for his mark. His archers compass me round about. He cleaveth my reins asunder and doth not spare. He poureth out my gall upon the ground. He breaketh me with breach upon breach. He runneth upon me like a giant. He hath sowed 
sackcloth upon my skin and defiled my horn in the dust. My face is foul with weeping and on my eyelids is the shadow of death. Not for any injustice in my hands. Also, my prayer is pure. O earth, cover not thou my blood and let my cry have no place. Also now, behold, my witness is in heaven and my record is on high. My friends scorn me, but mine eye poureth out tears unto God. All that one might plead for a man with God, as a man pleadeth for his neighbor. When a few years are come, then I shall go the way whence I shall not return. And that brings us to the end of day seven, Job chapter 14 through 16. And until next time, guys, love you.